Hello everyone. So today's question is how to evaluate regression models. So there are various uh, evaluation matrices to evaluate a regression model. So they are, first is MAE, next is MSE, third is RMSE, then next is R2 score, and next is adjusted R2 score. So MAE stands for mean absolute error. MSE stands for mean squared error. RMSE stands for root mean squared error. So let's understand these uh, one by one, okay? So let's start with MAE, that is mean absolute error. So uh, let's uh, assume that this is our uh, regression line, okay? So uh, if this is the data set, my uh, model has predicted this is data. For for this uh, data point, my model predicted here, right? So uh, whatever be the data model, they predict it on the regression line, okay? So let's assume that uh, Y1, Y1 is my uh, actual, actual output and uh, y, Y1 dash is my predicted output. Similarly, Y2 is my actual output and Y2 dash is my predicted output, okay? Okay, so like this, we have these for many data points, right? So how we'll calculate MAE? So mean absolute error is given by the uh, difference between the actual and predicted value. So for Y1, Y1 minus Y predicted, taking the mod plus error for y2 that is y2 minus y predicted then y3 minus y3 predicted and up to n data points okay so then it is divided by number of data points so this can be written as mae equals to summation of i equals to 1 to n mod yi minus yi hat divided by n. So this is our mean absolute error. So we'll take the difference between the actual and predicted value for all the data points and we will sum it divided by number of data points that is the mean absolute error. So uh, this is some advan uh, disadvantage that this is not differentiable and we should we know that error should be differentiable so we'll move towards the next type of evaluation matrices that is mean squared error so here instead of taking mod we have square of error so mean absolute error is given by summation of data points i equals to one to n yi minus yi hat square divided by n, okay? So in place of mod, we have taken square. So in place of mod or modulus, we have taken, we have taken square of the error. Okay? So how we'll see this in graph? So here, we can see that this is this will take the difference means this will take the dif distance this distance this will calculate the distance this is the difference between the actual and predicted value but in mean square error in mean square error this is our regression line and if this is the uh, actual data point and this is the predicted 
so it will take the square that is area this for this data point it will take like this so this all things will get added so this will add the areas of all the square this will add the areas of all square okay so the advantage of this is like the disadvantage of ma is is covered in msc but it has again one disadvantage that the unit or unit is square term right the unit of msc is square okay because we are taking the square so for example we have uh, we have a, a column y of price okay we are predicting price of some house okay house okay so it we will get the output as price square so this is difficult to interpret okay so the disadvantage is that the unit of this is difficult to interpret difficult to interpret okay and this is not uh, good in case of outliers this is not good in case of outliers okay so we'll move towards rmsc okay so we will move towards rmsc third type of error rmsc that is root mean square error root mean square error okay so the here we have seen that uh, the unit is not interpretable but here we will take the root of this so rmsc is given by under the root of mse term okay so and integration i equals to 1 to n y i minus y i hat square divided by n so now the unit is same but again the outlier problem is not solved okay so we have next type of uh, evaluation matrices that is r2 score okay so this is also known as coefficient of determination okay so we see that these three terms that is mae msc and rmsc will calculate the error but r2 score will uh, tell us how how much good our model is okay so this will tell us how much good our model is this is also known as goodness of fit this is also known as goodness of fit okay so the formula for r2 score is given by 1 minus ssr divided by ssm okay so ssr stands for sum of squared error sum of squared error in regression line and ssm stands for sum of squared errors sum of squared errors in mean line okay so what actually r2 score does it will take for all data points it will take one mean line and it will take the regression line okay what is our best fit line so it will take the regression line and it will take the mean line okay so it will take calculate the error squared of error for both the cases for mean case and for regression line also okay so it will take the squared errors for both the cases okay and it will compare it so this formula so this formula now can be written as r2 equals to 
one minus one minus submission i equals to one to n y i minus y i hat that is predicted square for regression line divided by i equals to one to n y actual minus y predicted for mean line. Okay, okay. So this is the formula for R two score. So the value of R two score, that is range of R two score, can be varied from minus one to one. Usually, it is between zero to one. If it is minus one, it is worst model. The model is not performing good. If it is near to one, we can say that the model is performing good. Okay. Okay. So now, if we see that, if we see that the what R two score actually tells us. Okay. So let's take the example R two equals to zero point eight zero. Okay. So the value of R two score is point eight. Okay. So what this interpret that. How much input column? How much input column is able to explain about the output column? Okay, about output column, or we can say that input column is able to explain eighty percent of variance in output column. That is, input column is able. to explain 80% variance in output column okay so this is given by r2 score but again there is a problem with r2 score that is a disadvantage of r2 score okay so the disadvantage is it behaves sometimes same when a irrelevant column is added okay so for example for example i have a data set in which i have cgpa and based on that the model has to de decide how much package that student will get based on cgpa how much model uh, how much um, package a student will get in the placement okay so when so for example the r2 score for this is 0.80 okay when model is evaluated it gave r2 score of 0.80 so when i added a irrelevant column that is a temperature is added to the column and then i have to find out how much package it will get so see temperature is not going to affect it but it will give the uh, but it will not improve the r2 score Okay, so it will give the same R two score. So this is the problem with the R two score. So we'll move towards the next evaluation matrices that is adjusted R two score. Okay, adjusted R two score. Okay, so adjusted R two score formula is given by one minus one minus R two score. Yeah, n minus one. Divided by n minus one minus k. Okay. So here n is number of rows, that is number of input data points, right? And k is number of independent columns. So this is adjusted R two score. so these are the various performance matrices or you can say evaluation performance matrices for regression model so we have different type of data sets and based on the requirement we will find out that which evaluation matrices we have to use okay so that's all for today bye bye